Pope Francis also made news over the weekend after a recent interview was released. He says that in case of medical impediment, he has already signed his resignation and has given it to one of the Vatican cardinals. During an interview to the Spanish newspaper ABC, the Holy Father revealed that at the beginning of his pontificate, he gave a letter declaring that he would step down in the event of serious and permanent health impediments that made it impossible for him to exercise his role. Joining us now from Rome is Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, great to see you. Um, over this past weekend, Pope Francis celebrated his birthday and, as we mentioned, also released an interview. What more can you tell us about that? Sure. So Pope Francis turned 86 years old this weekend. And despite all the reports about his health problems, he looked quite well while receiving the many congratulations from around the world. On Sunday, an influential Spanish media outlet published an interview with Pope Francis. And one of the topics was also regarding his health. It was quite a surprise, Tracy, because he disclosed that he actually signed a resignation letter many years ago in case of impediment for medical reasons. He gave it to the then Secretary of State, Cardinal Tarcisio Bertone. In the same year, in 2013, Cardinal Pietro Parolin took over this office. However, it's not clear, said the Pope jokingly, if the letter had been passed on. It was the first time that the Holy Father mentioned that. However, he spoke quite openly and frequently about his health problems with his knee and always rejected rumors about a more severe disease. By the way, this kind of resignation letter is not unique to Pope Francis, because also Paul VI had one, and regarding to Pope Francis, as he said, even Pius XII might have signed such a letter. So, almost business as usual. And, Andreas, what else was said in that interview? So, Pope Francis praised Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI as a saint. Pope Francis said he would visit him often and described him as a man of great spiritual life. He also said that the Pope Emeritus would have a good sense of humor. Also, the statement is not necessarily something that people would have expected coming from the current pontiff. His relationship with Benedict has always been described a little bit as difficult, given their also different styles and leadership. However, lately Pope Francis has mentioned the Pope Emeritus in a positive way quite often. On a more sad note, I must mention that the Holy Father said that the viol uh, mentioned the violent conflict in Ukraine. Again, he called it a world war and lamented that while he was trying to do everything he could, the parties involved in the war would not listen. He referred to the Vatican diplomacy that was very much involved. Only last week, as you also remember, we reported on a conference in the Italian embassy to the Holy See in which Cardinal Parolin tried to raise, find ways forward towards peace by diplomatic means. And the topic of war in Europe stays with us, sadly, also now during the last preparations for Christmas. And, Andreas, I also understand the Holy Father met with a group of children at the Vatican, um, and the topic was the war in Ukraine. So, yesterday, we witnessed an already traditional meeting of the Pope with children who are assisted by Santa Marta's pediatric dispensary. Pope Francis even brought his birthday cake to share with the kids and their parents. So, it was a happy encounter. Nevertheless, however, the pontiff also took time to think of the many children suffering right now in the cold nights of war-torn Ukraine. He pointed, out to the, to, he pointed out the Ukraine flag in the audience hall and noted the word peace on it, which was written on the blue and yellow flag. Tracy, also our correspondent, Colm Flynn, from the Vatican Bureau here in Rome, went again to Kiev and other parts in Ukraine to report on the lives of the people. He showed how various church organizations and institutions are helping children and parents to survive the war in the system this Christmas. As Pope Francis said to the children yesterday, and I quote, if the Lord gives us this joy to celebrate Christmas like this, all together in peace, let us think of those who suffer and let us pray together for them. Tracy? All right, Andreas, thank you so much for that report. I always appreciate it.